November 1st, 1969, a game in New York, and about three minutes into the game, Andy Bathgate, who, another fellow who didn't particularly like plump because uh, on his first shift, I think, uh, Bathgate was in the corner and plump went racing into the corner after the puck and got into a bit of a hassle with Bathgate. He shoved a stick out and I went head first into the end boards and I, I really hurt myself. Not too many ways you can get back at a goaltender. So uh, after I had gotten the stitches, I went back out on the ice and I went down the opposite wing, which was the left wing. And I faked that I was going behind the net. And when Jock pulled himself tight against the, the post, I just took a wrist shot and I hit him right on the cheek. And he found his nose someplace, I don't know where. But they halted the game for, for a while. And of course, in those days, they didn't have a a uh, substitute goalie. So the, they either cancel the game, stop the game, or find somebody to replace them. Here you have a cut now that starts at the corner of his mouth, goes up through his nostril, and by now, of course, he's on the ice, and a pool of blood is, is forming, and he's being helped to his feet and heading to the clinic Toe Blake disappeared and he went into the dressing room. He was in there, I watching him being stitched up and everything. And uh, when Toe came out, Plant was right behind him and he had the mask on. And when he came back with that mask on, it was as if you had seen the first Martian playing in the NHL. It's made entirely of plastic? Yes, uh, fiberglass. And, oh, I see, fiberglass. And Jacques Plant was uh, an individual. I mean,